Hey guys, Metal Driver here, bringing you another... Wait a minute. Didn't I review this already? Yeah, I did. That's right, today I am doing my first ever re-review, and I am doing that on the Ultimate Edition Shawn Michaels, which is actually being re-released. And you might be wondering, why on earth am I doing that? Well, I originally reviewed this a couple of years ago, back when it was first release, and since then, I have upgraded some things on my channel, I've changed up a few stuff on how I review my figures, I now have a 4K camera, better lighting, this really cool background here, a nice intro that I did not have on the original review, so I figured since this figure is being re-released, now's a great time to do an upgraded second look on this figure. And you might be sitting there rolling your eyes thinking, yeah, whatever, Metal Driver, you're just doing this so you can get some cheap, easy views. And to that I say, how dare you? How dare you accuse me of making a video to get cheap, easy views? How dare you? Because that is exactly what I'm doing. So here's the side of the box, there's the back. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this up and take a second look at the Heartbreak Kid. And here is HBK in all of his Montreal screwjob glory out of the packaging. But before we take a look at the figure, let's look at the accessories that he comes with. He comes with a pair of fisted hands, a pair of open hands, and entrance gear which includes an entrance vest which is painted decently for the most part there are some imperfections here and there specifically on the silver parts not the biggest deal in the world at least not in my opinion it's not majorly distracting but it does look good i do like this piece right here sculpted very well looks nice and then he comes with the bottom half of his entrance gear which includes the belt attached to these chaps the paint on the belt for the most part looks pretty good the silvers look nice on the belt buckle and the different studs and buttons here. Sculpting looks really good, so that looks pretty nice. And then legs here, black chaps right here with the red X's and silver studs printed on the soft good legs. So I do like that this is soft, it's not hard, so it does not hinder articulation. So you can pose him any way you'd like. A printed zipper on the side, so nice detail right there. You get the same thing on the other side as well, pretty much the same. So I like this entrance attire choice. Obviously it is accurate because it's based off his Survivor Series 1997 match. You know, that one that no one ever talks about. What I like about that entrance attire is that Shawn Michaels has used that a few times over the years, most notably at WrestleMania 19 with his match against Chris Jericho. So if you wanted to use this on the new Ultimate Edition Shawn that's coming out, you could. I'm sure that would look nice. Then taking a look at the alternate head sculpt that comes with the figure, this has an open mouth expression which is sculpted very well. The design looks good. I think it has a pretty good likeness to Shawn Michaels from this time period. Now this one does not have great paint. You can see that the eyes and the lips are not painted where exactly they're supposed to be. They're a little bit leaning towards the right side of the face. So that kind of sucks, but it's not the end of the world. It doesn't look that bad. I mean, I have seen far worse online. Not with this figure, but with others. And not only that, but you can't expect things to be perfect in life unless you're Jesus or Kurt Henning. Sculpt work on the hair looks really good. It's got that braid on the top with the back flowing down. Sculpted very well. Oop, there it goes, lopsided. So it certainly looks like Sean at different angles. So great head scan here. Then taking a look at the default head scan. This is really good. I think this also looks like Shawn Michaels. It's got a good likeness. It really captures that smug, cocky look that he would often portray back in the late 90s. This one is painted better than the other head scan. The eyes look good, the lips, the teeth, the eyebrows. The side looks really nice. Sculpting on the hair is just like the other ones. This looks really cool. And then if you wanted to swap the head with the recently released SummerSlam Elite Shawn Michaels, you can do that and it doesn't look too bad. In fact, both figures look pretty good with these swapped heads. And then taking a look at the upper body, this is utilizing that older Ultimate Edition body. This is from Wave 4, so you're not going to get any butterfly joints or that smoother cut here at the diaphragm, but I think it still looks pretty good. Not as bad as some of the other ones like the original Ultimate Triple H and Ultimate Ultimate Warrior. So you get some nice painted chest here, here on the chest, and down here by the abs. His arm tattoo is painted pretty well. No major imperfection, just some slight ones. He does have double jointed elbows, but 
but these are the pinned ones, so not seeing any pinless ones here. And then his gloves and wristbands look really good, painted nicely here on both sides. Then looking at the tights, these are the black tights with hearts that have black, white, and red, so I like this color scheme here. Nicely done, the hearts look really good. Some good clean line work all around. I don't see anything that's majorly bad as far as the paint work. Knee pads look good. Then look at the back, pretty much the same thing. Nice, good, clean hearts. Good paintwork there. The lettering on Heartbreak Kid looks really good. Some solid paint there. Same thing on the heart right here. Looks nice. Then you do see that the back of the knee pads are red. They should be black. Got some nice paint on the boots. The hearts look good. The silver looks good. And same thing on this side. So overall, nice paint job here on this figure. Except for that second head scan. Alright, then going over the articulation. The head is on a ball joint. Doesn't look too high up. Looks slightly down, does turn side to side, and tilt very well. Shoulder goes that high up, it rotates all the way around, there is a bicep swivel. He's got double jointed elbows, a swivel and hinge at the wrist. The upper diaphragm has a ball joint, so he goes that far forward, that far back, so pretty decent range. He can pivot very well, so that's nice. A waist swivel, legs go that far out. That high up, so excellent range, and you need that for the sweet chin music. Thigh cut. Double jointed knees, a cut at the top of the boot, ankle goes that high up, that far down, some good ankle pivot, and toe articulation. Alright, here's the Ultimate Edition Shawn Michaels next to a new generation HBK, next to Sherry Martell. The ringside exclusive DX Shawn Michaels with a swapped head. Triple H from the 2-pack with China. The 2-pack China. The recently released SummerSlam Elite Shawn Michaels. And finally, his best buddy in the whole wide world. The recently released SummerSlam Elite Bret Hart. So, what are my final thoughts on Wave 4 Ultimate Edition Shawn Michaels? Well, originally I thought this was a great figure, and I still believe that. I think it is really awesome that Mattel is re-releasing this. I know a lot of fans were asking for that. Mattel listened, so big props to Mattel for doing that. We don't often get re-releases. I know there have been a couple figures like a Shawn Michaels and an Undertaker that was released in a later wave again. We're also getting a Greatest Hits coming out in a couple months, but to get an actual re-release of an entire wave. Granted, the, it's just two figures. That's really cool. Considering that this set, Wave 4, which includes Brock Lesnar, I don't think ever hit retail stores in the US. I could be wrong, but I don't remember ever seeing that in stores. And once these sold out, both figures skyrocketed in price, which is absolutely insane. So it's great that collectors are getting a second chance at picking these up. Now, if we can only get that first Ultimate Triple H and the Amazon Ultimate Rock to get re-released, that would be awesome. So if you missed out on this the first time, don't be foolish and miss out on it a second time. This figure is awesome and it's worth adding to your collection. Because in my opinion, I think this is the best Shawn Michaels figure. Now, I know there's another Ultimate Edition that was released in the UK. Collectors over there got it first. So until that figure gets released, I say this is the best one. And even if the other one surpasses this one, this is still a really great figure. And speaking of not being foolish, don't be foolish. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Check out my social media so you can be up to date with all my wrestling figure photography. And I'll see you next time.